In today's video, meet a tree that has hand grenades for fruit and one whose fruit can kill in one bite. But first, here's a tree that can give both the ultimate high and the ultimate low. Number 10. The Angel's Trumpet The Angel's Trumpet is a small tree that can be found in most tropical countries, and it's so named because of its golden trumpet-shaped flowers. But believe me when I tell you, there is definitely nothing angelic about this tree. It's those flowers that you need to worry about, because although they are beautiful, they hide a deadly secret. They are highly poisonous. Eating the flower, if you strangely find the need to, will result into terrifying hallucinations, and that's if you're lucky. If not, you'd be dead. The danger in this plant is with its compounds, known chemically as tropane alkaloids. These cause intense side effects including visual and auditory hallucinations, confusion and paralysis of the smooth muscles. There was a worrying trend in Asia a few years ago where people started boiling these flowers to make a hallucinogenic tea in the search of a legal way to get a psychedelic trip. However, most of these brave pioneers ended up in the hospital or worse, dead. Number 9. Oleander Another tree that looks good but at the same time lethal is the oleander. They grow to around 20 feet tall and has been around since ancient times, native to North Africa and the eastern Mediterranean regions. They grow clusters of beautiful red flowers and are very hardy as well. That's why people tend to plant them as ornamentals. Thing is, this tree is toxic, as in every part of it. It contains the toxins oleandrin and nearine two very potent cardiac glycosides. Ingesting these two, even in small amounts, can lead to serious illnesses or even be fatal to both humans and animals. Symptoms of poisoning include serious heart rhythm disorders, along with nausea and vomiting, cramping and bloody diarrhea. It also causes confusion, dizziness, weakness, drowsiness and visual disturbances. Not only that, cutting its stem produces a sticky latex-like material that can irritate the skin and eyes. Burning them will also produce a smoke that, when inhaled, will irritate your lungs. Number 8. The Strychnine Tree also known as Nux vomica, poison nut, semen strychnos, and Quaker buttons, the medium-sized strychnine tree is native to Southeast Asia and Australia. It is also commercially in the European Union and the United States. This tree bears small, orange-colored fruits with highly poisonous seeds that are neurotoxic. They harm the body's nervous system, causing convulsions, paralysis, and even death. The tree's blossoms and bark can also be poisonous, containing the alkaloids strychnine and brucine. In fact, it's believed that Alexander the Great met his demise when he drank wine containing strychnine, not to poison him, but actually to cure him of some ailments. Nux vomica has been used for medicinal purposes since the mid-16th century, and it continues to this day. At low levels, strychnine has been used to promote appetite and is said to aid digestion in humans. The strychnine tree is used in homeopathic and herbal medicines, but has also been used as rat poison. Number 7. The European Yew The European Yew is one of the longest-lived native tree species in Europe. It grows up to 20 meters long and it provides food and shelter for many woodland animals. For humans, though, it has become a symbol of death and doom. For many animals, the yew is kind of like a buffet that they can live in. They have really dense foliage, offering protection and nesting opportunities for many birds, such as gold crests and fire crests. The fruit is eaten by birds such as the blackbird, missile thrush, song thrush, and field fare, and small mammals, including squirrels and dormice. The leaves are eaten by caterpillars of the satin beauty moth. To humans, however, the yew is pretty deadly, with its fruit, needles, and bark containing poison. Studies have shown that only 50 grams of its needles contain enough taxine alkaloids to kill a man. In fact, yew tree extracts have been historically used for assassination. Ingesting the yew's toxin causes nausea, vomiting, impaired color vision, abdominal pain, or muscle spasms. In more severe cases, death can come in as little as two hours after ingestion. Number 6. The Milky Mangrove The Milky Mangrove grows in saline or brackish water in tropical mangrove forests, in a distribution bordered to the west by India, to the north by Bangladesh, and to the south by Australia. Within Australia, it thrives from northern New South Wales along the northern coastline around to western Australia. When this tree is cut or any part of it is wounded, it secretes a whitish, latex-like substance. All well and good, and the tree excretes a lot of this substance to supply the ever-growing latex industry. But there's one thing about this goop that doesn't really make it a suitable raw material for, let's say, latex gloves. To clue you in on what harm it can do to you, let me tell you its other names. It's been called the Buta Buta tree, the poison fish tree, the river poison tree, and more tellingly, the blinding tree and the blind your eye mangrove. 
Yes, that whitish sap, if it ever comes into contact with your eyes, will temporarily and sometimes permanently blind you. Not only that, but when this sap comes into direct contact with skin, it causes immediate irritation and even blistering. Furthermore, even the smoke coming from burning this tree will also harm the eyes and lungs. Number 5. The Sandbox Tree the sandbox tree, which can grow to 200 feet tall, is all around dangerous. First of all, look at its trunk covered in thousands of spikes which could grow up to an inch long. This is definitely one tree you wouldn't want to climb. The tree also secretes a sap that is so toxic it has been used to create poison-tipped arrows. And though it won't kill you if you accidentally get some on your skin, you'll develop a particularly nasty rash. But even more dangerous are its fruits. When still fresh, this fruit looks like tiny green pumpkins. But when they mature, they turn brown and rock hard. And although they look totally benign, Nine, these things are nature's equivalent of hand grenades. You see, in order to propagate the seeds, these hard and dry seed pods explode with such force that it sends the seeds within it all over, at speeds of 160 miles per hour. And when some unfortunate soul decides to pick up one of these pods just seconds before it explodes, well, you can imagine what that kind of force will do to someone's hand. And that is the exact reason why this tree is also called the dynamite tree. Number 4. The Bunya Pine the Bunya Pine is an ancient tree. In fact, it has been serving as food for giant plant eaters since the Mesozoic era. It grows to 148 feet tall and is completely benign, without a single drop of toxin in its body. But why then is it on our list? Well, it may not be a danger to those who admire it from a distance, but those who come in for a closer look may come out of the experience with more than a splitting headache. The danger comes from the tree's gigantic pine cones, each one weighing somewhere in between 22 to 44 pounds. I shouldn't have to tell you that something that heavy falling from 140 feet up and hitting you directly on the head is definitely going to ruin your day. And it's not something writers of Looney Tunes cartoons have cooked up, it has actually happened. In San Francisco, a lawsuit for brain damage began after a man was struck by one of these pine cones in a park, which caused him severe head injuries. All he was doing that time? Reading and napping under the pine tree, thinking it was safe to rest under its shade. His injury was so bad that surgeons had to remove part of his skull to relieve the swelling. The patient then suffered short-term memory loss with a prognosis that he would need long-term care. And it's time for our best pick. Two of them, actually. One has something crawling out of it, and the other, well, bleeds. While both look like they come straight out from our nightmares, are they really that dangerous? Find out next. Number 3. Blood and Worms I'll just lump these two trees together, because despite how they look, they're not really that dangerous. Although, I'd be the first to admit that they do look quite disgusting, especially the first photo. Those mucus-like things you see coming out of that tree are actually living things. They are called mangrove worms, and what they do is eat the tree from the inside out. They are commonly found infesting mangrove trees and is called tamalock in the Philippines and is considered a delicacy. Served battered and deep fried or alive and raw in some vinegar like Hell's version of ceviche, it's a dish that I would never ever try, even if I'm starving. I'd rather eat the wood. Next up is the aptly named bloodwood tree, a tree that bleeds blood when you cut it. Well, it's not actually blood, but a dark red sap that looks like blood. This liquid is said to have a number of medicinal properties, curing anything from ring worm to eye problems, stomach problems, and even malaria. It's also harvested for its wood that, when dried, makes high-quality furniture. Number 2. Cerbera odolam What makes the Cerbera odolam extremely dangerous is not the tree's properties itself, but what we humans choose to do with them. Native to India and other parts of southern Asia, the seeds of this tree contain a toxin called cerberin. This toxin is highly potent and disrupts the function of your heart, sometimes even making it cease its functions. This plant is so dangerous, it has been linked to more suicides and murders than any other tree in existence. What makes this a murderous choice is because its flavor can be easily disguised in food. Its toxin is also easily overlooked by medical examiners, causing some experts to call this poison the perfect murder weapon. In fact, between 1989 and 1999, Cerbera odolum took more than 500 lives in Kerala alone. The fact that its fruit looks somewhat like a mango doesn't help as well. Its symptoms include burning mouth sensations, vomiting, headache, irregular heartbeats, and breathing difficulties. If you don't make it in time, you might fall into a coma or even die. Number 1. The Manchineel Tree 
And we cap off this list with what seems to be universally accepted as the most dangerous tree in the world. I give you the mansion eel tree. These trees are so dangerous that people who live in the places where they are endemic mark them with red bands to serve as a warning to people not to approach them. The most dangerous part of this tree is its fruit, which has been dubbed the little apple of death. Resembling a small green crab apple just one or two inches wide, the sweet-smelling fruit can cause hours of agony and potentially death with a single bite. Although sweet at first, eating the fruit will eventually lead to a peppery feeling in the mouth, followed quickly by a burning and tearing sensation in our throat. Ouch! The burning was so bad it reportedly prevents anyone from swallowing anything. And although it's not as potent as the fruit, the tree's sap is also dangerous. Covering every square inch of the tree, just touching it would immediately cause skin irritation. Even worse, the sap is easily diluted by rain. So just standing under this tree during a rainstorm could easily lead to bullous dermatitis and acute keratoconjunctivitis. I may not know what those two things are, but I certainly don't like how they sound. See you guys next time!